Hi everyone and welcome to the fifth episode of Inside AMG. Now, first, I would like to thank you all for your overwhelming feedback on our first four episodes. It really means the world to us. We're trying to get better with each video and that's what we're gonna try today. Fifth letter of the alphabet means letter E. Today, things are gonna be a little bit different. As you can see, we're not in a Faltebach right now. We're right in Stuttgart at Café Bar Apotheke, where today we're gonna be talking about exterior design. So we're gonna meet Viti from our design department at AMG and I'd say, Without further ado, let's go inside and meet him. Hi! <laughs> hey, great to see you outside work. How, nice how are to see you? you too. Pretty good, how about you? I'm not too bad. I'm actually happy to see you outside work because we are brainstorming with the boys here today. So you got your design team right here right now. Yes, we have a design team. team here and we're brainstorming for the projects to come in three, four years time. So you do this more often to, you know, to yes. go it's to a different place. It's not always this place. Work. Today we are at the Poteca in Stuttgart. We try to find different spots mm -hmm. because you always need to get inspired. You want different influences and this is why we're here today. Sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. How about coffee? we grab a coffee yet? Yes. Ah, Sounds great. great. Right? Yes. Chaba, Chaba was it? Right? And Felix. That's it pretty. Felix, so. That's pretty yeah. easy to remember. That's going to be a difficult one. <laughs> so, uh, wow. Okay, I can see you're already hard at work right here, right? We're kind of brainstorming right a bit, yeah. Okay. You know, I've always been a car nut. I always wanted to work with cars, and of course, when I was younger, I, I drew cars on, on whichever piece of paper I could find. But actually, coming up with like shapes of my own that haven't been there before. There you go. <laughs> that was great. And this is going to... There you go. It's all right. This, it's could be, this could be pretty embarrassing. Okay. It never really got more interesting than, than something like this. And <laughs> <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I didn't pursue a career in exterior What's design. Nice when did you know this was the right path for you? Um, approximately 10th grade because this is like when everyone is trying to find a direction in life, right? So mm -hmm. you need to do something after Abitur. And for me it was actually, I had um, this one friend who did um, car design. Mm -hmm. So for me it was like, wow, you can do something in this direction, you can study this actually. I thought some, I did not have no idea, most people don't know that you can actually study car design. That's yeah, it. but it's a good point because for me it was also so far, mm -hmm. something uh, uh, you don't think you can reach, you know? <laughs> yeah. You have an idea, you make a sketch, yes. and then you transform it into a 3D model. Yeah. And the person that has that's had the original idea, do you sort of go along with the process and see if the model represents yeah, so the we, model we you have in your head? Like we um, work with the clay models, we work with the ABS models as well. Mm -hmm. um, First of all, we build every sketch in a CAD, mm -hmm. so to see the volumes and stuff. Yeah. But of course, it's not like a real model. Yeah. A real model, totally different story, like uh -huh. on the surfaces and stuff. But you have like approximately, you can see where you are with the package and stuff, that everything is correct with all the angles and stuff. And um, from there, you mill it to the model. Okay. So it's, it's also very interesting that, uh, you know, our process is having more and more uh, digitalization, but uh, still we need a full size yeah. clay model yeah. to make decisions. It's a must. <laughs> and that's, that full size clay model gets milled. Yeah. Oh, okay. How long does that take? So all together, it probably is going to take you about three days. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a competition, but at the same time, this is what I like about these guys here. They have this mind to, to work as a team. Mm -hmm. That's something really strong these days. Really, really strong. Yeah. You pitch against each other, but you yeah. also work together on projects. In it's for the end, we want to have the best product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that yeah. simple. And okay. it's not for everything for the product, not like for one person. It's a very positive thing. It's yeah, it's a positive competition, competition. of course. It's yeah, just it's to actually to, to push each other yeah. to yeah. the yeah. limit yeah. and then to choose the best one yeah. and do it uh, once again and once again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we're all proud actually to work for, for this company. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh, because it doesn't mind, uh, matter if he won this time or a paint yeah. of uh, If he Java. has a better idea, yeah. then we go It's just, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. And I think that the new mindset is cool it's with like these a, boys here. Like a synergy, you know, mm -hmm. you work and you get feed it and you feed back. Mm -hmm. It's um, how it works in the creative um, atmosphere or a creative field. So that's pretty interesting about that working environment. It's for sure not an office, uh -huh. a standard <laughs> office. And I'm actually going to invite you now to come around. So I'd say we head over there right now. How about that? 
Yeah, go, boys, Great. you coming? Yeah, let's got see it. you later there, right? I'm gonna go with Felix. Yeah, we go together. We okay. gotta see pay the boys first. Later. Though. You and me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you later, boys. Yeah. Right. Look. No. no. Yes. We have, we got Seriously? It's TTR Pro. Well, you want to drive it because we actually got it uh, You're gonna have to let today drive. for inspiration. Because as we work on a new program, we said, yes, grab it. You're welcome to drive it. You have that. Never driven that car before. It was inspiration. By the way, look, there's actually Pete's car. I love it as well. Fantastic. Pretty cool as well, but I think I prefer this one right now. It's for sure faster, but it's a good design. This day keeps getting better. look like one, it sounds like one, it feels like one. That's really impressive, I have to say. You're an executive at AMG for the exterior design. Would you say there are any particular challenges to being head of such a such a diverse and such a creative team with such strong characters? Yes, strong characters, you, you lead them differently because these guys uh, want, to, want to be motivated, mm -hmm. but don't want to be told what not to do and how to draw. <laughs> and how the car should look like. Very happy we have this strong team here. I'm so happy because we, we just fit perfectly to each other. We are a team, even if, if, if in the team we are competing, mm -hmm. but we go out together, we, we, we push ideas together, we brainstorm together, and we have the same target for the future. So you see each other outside work and, and hang out together from time to we time? We do, we do. We actually, some of them, we, uh, we know each other like before Mercedes AMG. Cool. Tell us a little bit about what we're going to see now at your design studio. What can you show us? Um, you're going to see a lot of car covers, that's for sure. Um, but uh, you're going to see uh, our GT3. The GT3 is yeah, there. The GT3. We are doing minor tweaks to it. And uh, so Pete is still working on it. Uh -huh. You're probably see gonna, and going to see the guys working on their projects, which will be very much covered and maybe working on the back of it so you don't see it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be. We're gonna try to give a glimpse behind the scenes, but be very, very much. You very will see, you will see the studio, how people work. Yes, and I prepared okay. a challenge for you. A challenge, okay? <laughs> yes, we did. I already figured that the drawing wasn't gonna be my challenge for today. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to build a model. Um, a little one. It's okay. not obviously our car is in a big, big size. But as we have only a short time in our studio, you will do a little quick model, just to have a feeling how quickly things can change okay. in the material, okay. uh, which is very flexible. I've always been a big fan of arts and crafts back in school. Let's see if I can put some of it to use today. Felix, welcome to our world. Elegant as ever. So this is your empire. This is the empire. Nice. This is the most famous gate you can get cool. in. And well, I see things keep getting better and better. We started off with look, the GTR Pro. Orange. And it's getting sharper and yes. sharper. What's you happening guys? In here? Uh, well, you see Pete working here. We talked before. Pete is finishing off the last bits on the graphics. Now the car is done yeah. and dusted. So he's finishing off the graphics. So it's perfect for the final one. And um, yeah, look, he's just tiny little details he's doing on it. Um, little changes as, it, as you see, he's working with the tape. Oh, sorry, he's taped off some tape. certain parts. Yeah. And, okay. See, he's finishing off. So here, everything happens which is real. So uh -huh. from the sketch, it can be in, in a cafe, it can be in an office, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. But here, it comes alive. You actually do all the models here. This, here are the clay models. Um, and here, it becomes alive. I know, I know, I know, Felix, no. What exactly, no, no. What exactly is under there? Something is not going to happen. Okay. It's not going to happen. Just a, little, no, no. just a little sneak peek. Yeah, that's that as much as you're going <laughs> to see. Okay. That's okay. it. Uh, Pete and Felix are working, uh, Pete and uh, Chava are working on it. Uh, but you're going to see only the cover. They're resolving so the they're details. sketching over there. They're sketching. Mm -hmm. Because some details need to be resolved. They do the taping, we do later uh, some tapes for the modeler, and they sculpt it actually. Mm -hmm. We have Kai here doing his internship. 
He is finishing his um, sketches because he wants to do a big model of it. Uh -huh. He has a tiny little one to, to prove his concept. So that's how you start off sketching, then clay modeling, scaling sketching, it up. Sketching, we scale it. A bigger scale you can see down there, the scales which you usually uh -huh. do, uh -huh. it's one to four. Then we become a one, uh, full scale, one to one. Then you do it only in CAD. Actually, I just heard we're changing some little details on the GT3. Okay. And we do it all in CAD right now. I'm going to take you in our CAD department and we'll have a look there. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Let's, Let's head over there. there. Fantastic. We were friends knowing me. How you thought you'd get away with that? If you switching up, I might have to switch a little face up. Right hand to the gavel, lead the way I'm getting caked up. Lying in the sand, pretty boy, what you made of? Can flip your shit, take your chick and your pay stub. I don't play the field, I hear my doggy from the skybox. Playing with my funds, it get ugly like a cyclops. My god, I ain't been this livid since my dad kicked me out the house. We had an agreement, now you trying to give the run bad around. Move, bad move, you shouldn't have done me like that. You pay the price, don't take advice, make bad moves. The Wrong move. You could've played your cars right now, it's bad news. Hi Dave. Mm, nice. I'm having a Felix with me. He's having an inside in our AMG exterior design. Hi Dave. How's it going? Quite good. So, what exactly is your job in the design department? Uh, yeah, I'm responsible for digital side of design. I'm delivering services uh, basing on VT's design. I'm making sure that everything is mathematical correct and uh, have uh, symmetry and uh, correct gaps and so on and so on. It's so this is the transition from design kind to engineering? Of bridge between design and engineering. Ah, so we nice. be delivering scan surfaces and delivering to them and they fixing all the bugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they take the, <laughs> so they make everything scan nice the models and, and correct yeah. Yeah. your mistakes. Correct, we're sure correcting our mistakes. Correct. And it's, it's uh, always like we're giving them, they're giving us back and it's always the feedback information we need. And to, to deliver actually the final, final fantastic result, which is the final result is done by these guys actually. Pretty awesome. Yeah? Um, actually, Dave, I heard we are here because we have a little problem on the GT3. Yeah, I was asked to, to uh, make some more place for, for air on the front. That means for us, we need right. to increase a little bit uh, uh, front grip. Okay, so I'll uh, be talking... Uh, so this is what the digital result looks that's like. That's the digital result. So the model you saw before, it's actually a real car, but now, unfortunately, it needs some little tweaks here and there. Ah. And Dave, you're talking about this area here? Yeah, actually, it's make uh, no difference which side we make bigger. They need just bigger uh, area from, from air. All right. So we can so do this up or uh, side. We're talking uh, about 10, 5 mil. How, how much are we talking about? A couple uh, uh, centimeters. A couple centimeters. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's going to ruin with his No, we're going to make it beautiful. And he's going to make it even more beautiful while finishing the data. So, but I, I think that, that's okay. We have, I think we actually we have a very strong design where we have a really big grill with big mouth. Mm -hmm. and I think it could be even stronger if we really execute it to, to, to the limits. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't mind. So I'll do something, Dave, we have a look and then we feed back and all right. Talk about later. But that's the conflict you talked about, that's right? The Having conflict, somebody right. change your baby yes. and change the but shape. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's the end result which is important. It's not uh -huh. just one person working on it. It's, it's really the whole company. Yeah. And, uh, and it just comes together in this product here. Uh -huh. And we talked as well about you trying stuff, right? How, how it actually becomes this product. Yep, there was a challenge. Well, there was a challenge. Well, Nelly prepared something for you. Okay. And um, I'd say, let's go. All Let's right. see how you get on with it, right? Okay, awesome. you up for it? Fantastic. All right, folks, so now it's challenge time. You already teasered a little bit that Nelly prepared something for me. In fact, she did. Well, it's, it's not a real clay model. It is a clay model, but it's a tiny little one as we want just to do a five minute challenge. So just to understand what this material is all about. And uh, you're gonna see how she's actually working, but we prepared these tiny little models where in five mm -hmm. minutes you might understand what how quick you can get some results in shape uh, in this little model becoming a mobile uh, device kind of thing. So five minutes, clay model against a pro. That sounds interesting. Yes, well, it's up to you. Okay. You're gonna win? Yeah, of course I can. I mean, <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> Hi, Nelly. Hi. Nelly, that's Felix. Hi. Nelly, nice, nice to meet you. Um, that's Nelly. 
Well, that is uh, the clay bottle we spoke earlier in the car. And we prepared already something. Actually, Nelly prepared something for you. And we prepared for you a little drawing. Prepared something. This looks like to my untrained eye, this looks already pretty finished. Well, you have a base shape. Mm -hmm. You have five minutes. You have a sketch. Nelly does it every day. So this is the end result we're trying to achieve in That's five minutes. That's the end minutes. result we're going to see. <laughs> to go from this block of clay here to that. Okay. Five minutes and off you go. I'll see All you in right. five minutes. Off we go. Hi guys, five minutes gone. Already oh, I'm well, close done. <laughs> oh, it looks like a soap. <laughs> no, it still looks like a soap. Yeah, but in a little shape. I, I can see the sensuality of it. Okay. Let's turn it for the camera and see what five minutes can do in clay modeling. Unfortunately, we never do it like this, uh, small. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just for a challenge. It was fantastic to you to experience what people put in here. Absolutely, and I got to make my hands dirty. I like that. Look, I can see you've been working. <laughs> yeah. I can see you've been working. And basically, people put their soul into it. The car becomes alive here. Mm -hmm. This is the product becomes alive. You enjoyed it? I definitely did. It was great to have you here. Thanks for having I'll us. I'll kick you out in a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. Talk later, bye. Thank you very much. So there you have it, folks. We learned a lot about exterior design today. A little bit different video today, but that's what we wanted to do. We got very diverse characters here putting as Viti said, their soul into the cars and that really shows. So if you've liked what you've seen today, leave us a thumbs up, comment down below with suggestions if you like us to do something differently. Um, also suggest what you would like us to film next. As you have seen today, five minutes is definitely not enough to um, really get the best out of a block of clay like that. Um, I'm gonna go back to the board and try to finish this. Until then, you can wait till the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>